Hi, this is a Java application. I have just called uh, the file name U Lottery, and uh, I've actually unchecked the create main class. So I'm going to click on uh, finish. Now I have my U Lottery folder right here. So I right click on that, go to new, and select J Frame. Yeah, my J Frame is out there. So let's just call that U. lotteries and right here the package called the package as lotteries and that's fine click on finish and the next thing I'm going to do now that the frame is ready is just to insert six of uh, six text fields have one there let's get six of those on board now I have a uh, six text field on board so let me increase the font size I've increased the font size to 48 so just click on OK so that's fine so for each of these text field I'm gonna now delete the content in there so I'll start with the number one text field get rid of that and repeat the same thing for text field 2 and so on alright guys I have my lottery number generator that was uh, created using a label which you can see right there so I'm going to insert another label get another label up here this very label just use that to to insert an icon I will now right click on this uh, select this label that I've just created go to the icon right there and select uh, an image for it let me just import an image okay I just import this very image let's click on next and that's it so that's the image I intend to use as my logo just for this lottery number generator okay so maybe cover the side of the image a little bit yeah that's fine cover it a little bit more yeah that's cool and uh, the next thing I'll just do now is to Maybe right click on uh, the frame right there select an event let me go for mouse move mouse move just to change the background of my frame enter the following lines of enter the following lines of code to change the background color so I think I'm gonna have to import yeah let me import some color into it yeah there the error is gone now the next thing is to start uh, work on the program so let me declare the following variables right here I think right here yep let's get rid of this so the first variable I'll declare is I'm going to call that num1 num1 comma num num2 num3 num num5 num6 so I have all my variables in place now let's declare some strings I say q1 equals nothing enter comma q2 equals q3 equals q4 nothing Q five Q six that should be Q six alright so all my variables are in place so let's see Q one equals equals let's get rid of this right there yeah so all the variables are ready guys so let's go into the program right now so back in the design view is right click on this my generator and um, uh, first thing first let me just get one name right here get the name of that very text box yeah text field one just copy and paste so right click on this generator and come to let's use a uh, mouse enter when mouse enters right there mouse enter set all of the following 
okay um jtex field dot set tech equals q1 sorry about that equals q1 q1 equals empty that's just to get rid of the content in q1 right done so repeat exactly the same thing for the other five text box that's two three done so okay what we happen here is as soon as the mouse enter the button all of these components will be empty I can just uh, I believe you guys can just picture what we happen so let's go back into design view now I'm back in design view right click on the number generator now go to event select action performed now in action performed so I'm just going to select and right there I will then say num1 equals I will add one to it one int one integer okay then call the mass function dot run okay then I will multiply that by 48 by number 48 and there enter your semicolon right there that is the very first function then I will now assign the value in there to q1 q1 equals now let's say q1 plus equals num1 num1 there now enter that very value for I think it's called j j j text field j text field one dot set text equals no sorry that's q1 q1 and uh, end the semicolon okay now that we finish the very first part of this program let me just copy and paste i'm going to copy and paste but uh, before i continue i will now run the program so that you guys see what will happen now the program is ready so i click on my generate number you see that guys 42 4 as soon as my mouse enter this control 46 mouse enter the control it disappears you see that so i might as well just repeat exactly the same thing for the other five uh, components so let's go back so we're back into the coding area now click on next uh, click on enter just uh, copy and paste and change uh, the variable names remember to change the variable names that's two and this one to two as well this to two this one to two okay i'll just repeat the same thing for all and get back to you guys as soon as i'm done all right guys this is how my program looks like right now you can see the first variable second one third fourth fifth and the sixth one right here see how easy it is so the next thing i'll do is just run the program for you guys to see i know you can all create something very similar if not better so let's just run the program and there we go guys click you see that that's the numbers that have been generated out of the screen go back and repeat the same thing this are you generate your own lottery so you all have a nice day and uh, Please do subscribe. Bye.